to the School of Doc, where the Defenders of Comics will help teach you about the history of comics. Today's lesson will be about one of DC's most powerful weapons, the Trident of Neptune. The first appearance of the Trident was in Adventure Comics number 476 back in October of 1980. The Trident is a magical weapon that grants its wielder great power and the divine right to rule the sea. The original Trident of Neptune was forged by Cyclops out of adamantium and Neptune's own essence. The Trident can manipulate water as well as disperse energy in the form of bolts and force fields. The Trident may also be used by its chosen champions. The most recent champion is Aquaman. The Trident beholds a vast number of magical powers such as the power to command the sea, control the weather, unleash blasts of lightning and transform creatures into other forms. It can also make things disappear. In the new 52, the Trident is a part of the set of the Seven Treasures of Atlantis, seven mystical relics crafted by the Gold of Legacy. This trident was believed to have no supernatural powers or mystical properties other than being a symbol of the Atlantean royalty, giving the user unrestricted right and lordship over the various oceans of the world. But its edge is sharp enough to rend the hide of new gods like Darkseid. Aquaman also found it serves as an activator of the great many devices of the Atlantean craft, particularly the Maelstrom a mystic transport system from a begone era built by his predecessors, a device of which requires a royal scepter of an Atlantean to make it work. In Rebirth, when the Crown of Thorns was erected by the treacherous Quorum Wrath, newly crowned King of Atlantis in wake of previous rulers dethroning, a rebel movement known as the Undercurrent was secretly supported by the Widow Hood from behind the scenes. It was they who got the trident back to Arthur, which he later found was strengthened by the ambient mystical power in wake of Wrath's untempered use of lost magics, allowing Arthur to undo the Drift's magic enchantments strengthen himself with the artifact in hand, temporarily fix Mira's breathing problem while in Atlantis and awaken his own dormant magical potential. The trident itself could also discharge bolts of energy with devastating effect. It was recently cut in half by Deathstroke's Promethean Blade, only to gel back together afterwards. Currently, it remains permanently broken in the DC Universe. If you have enjoyed what you have watched, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out our other videos. Thank you.